Peace, 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 and blessings, family. I go by the name of DJ912, and thanks for tuning in to DJ912Beats.com. Hey, uh, I'm finna do another voiceover, and I thought y'all, I thought I'd bring y'all in so y'all can check it out. Um, what I did was I went ahead and I recorded it, and um, and I imported it into Slicex. So this is the original. Yo, DJ, run that back. So we're gonna take it and drop it in the Slicex just so we can do some um other automation to it. So bring it in slices and you treat it like a sample. Each key point, each marker point. So we start at marker two because this is the silence. Um and the way you bring it in the slices is you go here, right click, open a new slices channel. So in slices, each marker point. It's created to trigger like a sample. So when I press the key, Yo, DJ, run it, run, run it back. and the reason why it's pitch shifted is because of this note, right, this right here. You can go up; it'll pitch shift it up, DJ. or you can go down, and it'll pitch shift it down. DJ. So it's up to you. But um, this one I think I'm gonna pitch it up just a little bit. DJ, D DJ, run that back, 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 back. So the reason why I'm doing it like that is so I can keep control of the notes and I can trigger it to repeat like three or four times. And um, I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. Yo, DJ, run that back, 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 back. Yo, DJ, run that back, 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 back. Yo, DJ, run that back, 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 back. Yo, DJ, run that back, 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 back. Yo, DJ, run that, run. Yo, DJ, D DJ. Yo, D DJ, run that back. Yo, DJ, D DJ. Run that back, 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 back. Yo, DJ, run, run, run back. Ah. Uh. Yo, DJ, run, run, run that back. Yo, DJ, run that back, back, back. So something like that. Um. You, you get the gist of it. That's probably not how I'm gonna leave it. But um, yo DJ, run that back, back, back. So, I'll left click the slider just a little bit. Yo DJ, run that back, back, back. So something similar, similar to that. And what you would still do is go back and do your regular, uh, you know, effects and EQ compression, whatever you need to do to get the sound to the, to your effect. Um, it's so many different ways to do it, man. Just get in there and have fun. So we're gonna drop. Uh, gonna compress it first. And when you're doing compression, like I said, on vocals, I like to start with a photo one. But the threshold is something you need to pay attention to. The more you bring that threshold down, the more you're squashing your vocals. And it's squeezing it so you hit a distortion in it. Yo, DJ, run that back, back, back. Yo, DJ, run that back, back, back. Yo, DJ. If I route it to the channel, you can hear it. So as you can t as you can tell, that's way too much compression. You can hear it cutting it. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Yo, DJ, run that back, back, back. Still a little too much for me. 
And so what I would do is when I'm doing compression, I'm pretty much just letting it tap, like letting it barely touch, barely touch it. So turn it up just a little bit. Somewhere in this area. Yo, DJ, run that back, back, back. 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 Back. So uh, at one point it sounds like I'm breathing at the end of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into slice it and I'm gonna just cut it. And play the loop again. Yo, DJ, run that back, back, back. So now I'm here. Now we're in a good place. Um, I'm gonna turn the gain up a, a little bit for the compression. Yo, DJ, run that back, back, back. Yo, DJ, run that back, back, back. And that should be good enough. Uh. Do an EQ. Yo, DJ, run that back, back, back. 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 Yo, D and so from this point on, man, it's pretty much just trial and error um, to get certain effect sounds. Uh, for most drops, what you hear is um, a transition noise and echo or delay. So um, let me see if I can pull one up. Not that one. Uh, let me see if it's this one. Let's go. Let's go with this one. Yo, yo, DJ, yo, 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 yo. So what you would do is you can either choose the automated or change your um. change the timing in it i think i'm gonna automate it I'm trying to find the feedback real quick that's down So what I'm gonna do right now is create an automation clip. So go to the right of the channel, uh, the right to the right of your effect, and where well, you see this green button, right click, create automation clip. So I'm gonna take this automation clip, stretch it out. And it's pretty much like an on and off thing. Yo, yo, DJ, run, yo, DJ, run that back, back, back. As you can hear it cutting out, let me zoom in. Yo, DJ, run that back, back, back. Yo, DJ, run that back, back, back. 
Yo, yo, DJ, run it back. So pretty much all the way down is uh on, all the way up is off. I think that's how it just did it. Yo, yo, DJ, run it back. So the automation allows you to control it. So with it here, it's not on. Yo, DJ, run it back. Well, as you can see by the time it gets in this area right here, it cuts the automation on. So that's one way to do it. Um, like having the end of your vocals echo longer. So um, that's it, man. It's the quickest tip you can get on creating your own uh, voiceovers. I mean, there's many different ways you can do it. Just keep keep going at it until you get it done. Uh, I have a few ready for y'all in just a moment for the free download. So look in the description below and you'll be able to download it for free. Or you can go to my website and download it for free at DJ912Beats.com. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure you, all, as always, comment. Peace, love, and light, people.